Hello and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. Today I will show you how to create blood splatters in Game Maker using sh uh, shaders. So we want to create an object. It's going to be object um, blood controller. We want to add a create event and we want to do surf equals surface create and we want it to do room width and height you might want to change this depending on your game but most likely it will be these two values so we want to make sure we have a destroy event so we want to do surface free surf just in case like if we change um, room or whatever we don't want to have the same blood from that room and the other room so we want to have this so we want to do a we want a dry event and we want to do if surface exists surf We want to do, oops, I didn't caps, draw surface. The idea is obviously going to be surf, and these other two values, x and y, are 0 and 0, which, are, which is the starting point. So else, just in case, get practice, surf equals surface create room width and room height okay so now that's all we need to do f for the object blood controller so now we want to do an object blood and we want to do a sprite and we want to edit the image Actually, before that, let's make it a bit smaller. Let's make it 10 by 10. Apply, edit image. Let's just grab this default red. And let's just do a circle, just like that. And we want to put this in the metal center. Okay, so the object bud will have this, this sprite. We want a draw event and before we actually work with the draw event we want to go into the create event and we want to do image x scale we're going to give it a random value so random random range um, 0 0.33 to up to 1 and we want to match the image x scale to the y scale just so it looks right so we want a move dir and this will be random 360 We also want a move SPD equals to random range. And I find that 3 to 12 are pretty decent values. And the friction, which equals random range. Uh, move speed divided by 8 to move sp speed divided by 2 I find that these values overall work pretty well you can change them if you want to to, to, to get different effects so we want also a variable called size change and we want this to be random range 
image x scale divided by 10 and image x scale divided by 3. So for the step event, we want to thin out the blood as it spreads. So to do that, sorry about the notifications, um, we want to do image x scale minus equals size change. And we want to match the image x scale to the image, oh, sorry, the image y scale to the image x scale. So if move SPD greater than zero, we want to change the alpha. So image alpha minus equals random range and I find that 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 are good values so what we want to do now is move SPD we want to change it and we want to do an approach approach and I'll give you in the description uh, the code for the approach function, which we will need. Move SPD zero and frick, not frick, frick. There we go for friction. So let's create a script. Create script. Up. Uh, approach. And this will be, let me just open, open up my, uh, okay, where is it? Here, let me open up this project very quickly. And this is the code, I'll put it in the description. This is not mine, by the way. I got it from some random guy. This is not mine. So we want to have the approach function. And wait, we have an error over here. Oh, OK. I forgot a parentheses. OK, so once we have that, we want to do if Inst instance exists O blood controller surface set target O blood controller. Oops. O blood controller. Dot surf. So it access the surface, and we want to draw a sprite extended. So ext. So s. Uh, how did I name it? Well, Sprite Zero. Sprite Zero, or whatever the name you've put to to the um, uh, image. So, image X scale, image Y scale. Image angle. Oh, so, so I'm very sorry about the notifications. See white 
in image alpha. Okay, so once we have that done, we want to make sure we do surface reset target or it will get an error. So once this is done, so if image x scale is less than or equal to zero, we want to do instance destroy just to keep it nice and clean and we could do this after that's not what we're going to do now but let's just do it in the end step just to make sure x plus equals length dir x Oops, I forgot an N over here. Into their X. Move SPD and move their. And since I'm a lazy programmer, we already got practice. I'm going to copy paste. And I want to leave it like that. So to test this out, I want to go, so this would be done. You, you could just go leave this video and you'll be good to go. But I want you to go into the step event of the build controller and I want you to do var account just for testing. var account equals random range for 32. So if mouse uh, check button pressed and B left, we want to do a loop for var y equals zero while y is less than a count. Y plus plus. And we want to do instance, instance create a depth or layer or whatever. Mouse X plus mouse Y. We could do uh, add some random range to this or whatever. Uh, depth equals on all minus ten. Doesn't really matter. And we want to spawn the O blood. Okay. So we could also add some screen shake and whatnot and all that fancy stuff, but it should be good for now and it's getting an error. Oh, I put a comma here. Jeez. So now this should be fine. So if we go into our room and we put our object controller, let's make it all gray. I don't know. Let's just run it. And it will create blood splatters, very nice blood splatters. So you can see, very pretty realistic too. You can, it looks almost like Hotline Miami kind of blood splatters. It looks really nice. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please support me on my Indiegogo campaign. I'll leave a link down in the description. And that's it really. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.